Hello, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossroad. Just a couple minutes after 10 here, forgot to grab the leaderboard, but I do know that PB Geckner and Stickers both came in ahead of me, so shout out to both of you, as well as all the rest of you watching. Anyway, we may as well jump into the Wednesday mini. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Uh, Gabon, maybe? Eric. Jack. Wish. Hole. Where were we? Uh, Ionic. Slick. Benin. Benin. Place to go undercover is bed. Indeed. All right. Well, now for the main event. That's the Wednesday Daily Grid, which is by Michael Paleos today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscri subscription. All right, let's see what uh, Michael Paleos has in store for us. Let's get into it. Drops the ball big time. Remark from one having cold feet, perhaps. Bit of unfinished business. Cursory appraisal. Rouse. Pita pocket cuts. E.g. Slits. Practically forever. This is Arizona Cardinals, I think. Gun could be Rev. Hard to swallow in a way. And this could be Eons, spelled like this, maybe. Maybe Waken. And blows it. Passport Fig. Dress up. Tog up. Cristiano Ronaldo there. ID number, I guess. Cover as tasks. Oh, this is a once over. Bit of unfinished business. And Burr, I see Tots Mount Rocking Horse. Copy Ape. That's Asia, probably. This is iOS. Jazz piano style. Island like Kiritimati. Is it an Azor? Yeah, no. Atoll. T top. First take on a classic. One with a whistle. Who sometimes blows it. It's a ref. This is Emo. Bogies? This could be Kane. Thinks the world of. Okay. Eminem. This is a MIG remake. Jim Beam competitor. Something whiskey. This is Eli. Auction action is a bid. Illusionist skill. Not sure. Thinks the world of. Um, esteems. Hard to swallow in a way. Okay, shake a leg in Shakespeare. Part of a casual layered look. T-shirt, maybe? Wild turkey, not something whiskey. Um, is it high? Yeah, Utica here. Torments. Streaming sites. Creeks. Sci-fi. I don't know this blues legend. Chinese poultry just marinated in wine. Something chicken. Drunken chicken? Is that a thing? Loose end here. Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman. Inedible. Let's try drunken chicken. This is Inkin. Raging Bull here. This is uh, CTA. Get seriously really quickly. Pitching, st pitching statistics. Rode the bench, just sat there. BB King, okay. These are Cretans. Craned here. Ramona Kumbi. Discharges E jests. All look good. Das Kapital. Cherry or Walnut is with Woods right in the kisser. Pow. This is an ogre shot to Ogre. Usted. They're always ready for a good time. Some, some kind of animal theme. Ask here. Chalky, I see. This is Alt Hall Harasses. Blank Bear. Oh, Party Animals. I see, that's cute. This is SST, Supersonic Transport. These are both woods. Um, maybe Armrest. ASL here. Senates. Um, that sails, that kind of pitching. Okay. Banjo spot. Knee. Koala bear then. 
Escalate. Roast, I guess. No. Lamar Odom. Blast. Boing. Like rest. Hide in and wild. Alright. I kind of like this. This is very cute. Party animals. We've got a rocking horse, a wild turkey, a drunken chicken, and a raging bull. That's a very cute theme. Nice that these are all fairly legitimate phrases. Um, and they all happen to be kind of party-esque. Yeah, I think that's a very nice theme. Drunken chicken. It's basically the only one that I wasn't super duper familiar with. Chinese drunken chicken, the walks of life. Doesn't seem to have a Wikipedia article, but... It's a New York City Korean food restaurant specializing in sweet and savory Korean fried chicken. I do love Korean fried chicken. Okay. I'm not sure if I've ever had drunken chicken before. There you go. Yeah, Wild Turkey is just the whiskey brand. Rocking Horse Raging Bull. That's that's very cute. Um, very creative. I like that theme a lot. Best puzzle of the week so far, I think. Not the easiest puzzle, though, as I was filling it out. Um, is it extra wide? It is extra wide. Okay. To accommodate probably this 14-letter themer in the middle. Because it doesn't have a doesn't have a pair, so it needs to be in the middle, and so if it's an even number of letters, you need to have an even number of columns. Um, I guess maybe it's not quite enough of a theme without this. Maybe that's the hypothesis anyway. Yeah, so a little bit extra big, that explains it. Um, also these corners were, were pretty big. Let's um. Let's just look through this thing. Interesting cross-reference there. I don't know how necessary it is, but T-Top is very crossworthy to me. I did listen to a lot of Death Cab for Cutie in high school. It's still on my iPhone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got some CTA going on. This is the Chicago Transport Administration, but basically only know that because of crosswords. We do have ID number and nose with a no dupe, but it's not really a dupe. Two letters. Shout to Ogre. Bit of an awkward pluralization on Senate, I think. Loose end is nice as well as once over. Yeah. Took a lot of time to get those, but those are nice. Where is Kiritimati? Or is it Kiritimas? Ah, it's Christmas Island. It is part of Kiribas. Kiribas? It's not actually... It's, it's the alternate pronunci pronunciation is Kiribati. It's actually... Kiribas. So this is pronounced... Oh, I see. Basically it's pronounced Christmas. The T-I is like a, an S sound. In Gilbertese. So it's a... Uh... Yeah. Christmas Island, that's what that is. I wasn't familiar with Stride. We also, we also got a BB King here. So we've got some, some blues and some jazz. Learning something. Mary Lou Williams. As well as Eric Hayden. It's pretty tough. 1980s speed skating gold medalist. That's a pretty deep pull for a Wednesday puzzle. This is a word list person, I think. Oh, that's right, 1980. We're in Lake Placid. By then, um... When did they change so that the summer games and the winter games would be a two-year delay? Okay, 
can just keep clicking, I guess. It's gotta be, oh, it's gotta be recent. It's, uh, Lilla Hammer 94. Anyway, yeah, Speed Skating Star from the 80s is quite a deep pull. Frankly, Speed Skating Star from 2022 would be a pull. Um... I like the clue on, on net sales pitching, like a sales pitch, as well as the Ramona Quimby reference. That's nice. Read all those books as a kid, as many of us. Yeah, so I really like the theme. It's a bit larger and a bit slower than normal for Wednesday, but very cute theme. It'll be probably about normal to slightly slow for a Wednesday. Leaderboard for tomorrow at the moment is just me. But we do have Kimball in 24 seconds. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you tomorrow for some Thursday puzzles. See you then.